Hey everyone, you're with Matthew. You're at the hub and you may not know it, but you're also in the matrix. But except this matrix is happening for my yoga mat in my home because the MBS crew can't get together to film like we used to and are used to doing because of the virus that shall not be named. Um, this is, I think, one of the most complicated, hardest times that I've ever been alive. Um, between the the pandemic, the the stay at home, the distancing, the social distancing, the loss of human contact, the incredible amount of deaths and suffering that families are having to absorb, um, the need to stay home to protect others, to, to, to let there be a disruption to our lives for the good of the collective whole. Um, the, the last couple of weeks of so, social and political unrest through the murder of George Floyd and the, and the, the, the deep rooted outcry for a more just criminal justice system, but also for a social order that doesn't cause disproportional suffering for people of color. These are the things in front of us and, and it's really important to be able to let in certain truths without becoming ungrounded. And this is something that I think yoga can really, really help you with. I think the, the yama of truthfulness, one of the, one of the commitments of a yoga path that, that I think is way more than just a moral commandment. I think it's opening your being to the state of the fairies of the world whilst, while keeping your shape. I think that, that that is something that takes you opening the inward dimension of you better, the silent, quiet parts of you, the parts that are, are sacred and just between you, your life, and the universe, that letting in truth at that level, if you can let in truthfulness at that level, that it will transform your actions over time. And, and I really do think that the the transformation or the alleviation of the suffering of others and and your own suffering is one of the greatest callings of being alive. And we're looking at a particular point in history where this is more important than pr most of us have ever experienced. So one of the things that's so crucial is you have to be able to set the conditions so more of you, both the tangible and intangible parts of you can receive because truthfulness is received. It's not told to you by others. That might cause you to receive the sensation of truthfulness, but it's it's something that's received and has to be allowed to. Um, and we're talking at a general level, like almost an existential level, not a particular particular level of truth. Um, and so in order to do that, one of the things that yoga shows us is that the sensation of grounding is really, really important. That in order to let more in internally, conditions have to be such that you can receive. So it seems simple, but I'm sitting in simple cross legs. I'm putting sandbags on the outside of my hips because that creates a sense of relief and lift in my spine. Another place that's gonna need support while you're processing at this level that's more internal, that is, is, is the center of the chest. And so to keep this lifted and open, one of the things that I've discovered in my practice is that when this is open, I have a harder time denying the truth because there's my mind wants to explain it, wants to blame somebody, wants to somehow not take it in. But my being, especially the quiet receiving parts of my being, can stay open as long as I can stay grounded. It even helps to support the spine. Some of your processing should maybe be done with your legs swung up the wall and your spine on the ground so it's supported. So you get a different perspective seeing the world upside down, turning things around and over and under is all part of what helps process. And so your spine is one of the things that need, that need supporting. So if you can let in, maintain your shape, stay alert, one of the things that 
yoga also teaches is that when you let in and start to feel and perceive at this level, actions transform. You'll know what to do over time. You'll learn. You'll be able to listen better. Learning to listen with your whole body without judgment. And I don't mean not to discern and give up your critical thinking. I mean that when you can feel that tickle of like, oh my gosh, this is true. Whatever that is, your whole mind-body relationship needs support. You need to get it where the empty spaces in you are also listening and feeling and processing. And you don't just restrict it to the understanding or to your mind. Because the mind, one of its main jobs is to narrow down the truth, the overwhelming immensity of the universe, but also of the amount of suffering out there. The mind's going to want to narrow it down so it can function. And so at certain parts of your practice, you just need to let more in without losing your shape. And yoga is going to be a very powerful way to do that, to recognize that your body, your inner, has to learn and be supported enough to receive in order for you to know and to go forward with whatever it is you need to do or your life is calling you to do. Until next time, I'll see you in the matrix.